Good evening, everyone. I'm William Galloway. It was a record-setting game for Alabama football versus Kentucky today in Bryant-Denny Stadium. The Crimson Tide remained in control for 60 minutes versus the Wildcats. Let's take a look. In the first quarter, Najee Harris caps off a six-play, 55-yard drive to put Bama on the board first, 7-0 tied. Second quarter now, Wildcats attempting a field goal. The bad snap gets away and gives Alabama great field position. So the Tide march down the turf and look to capitalize. Mac Jones has all day to throw right here, and using his footwork is going to strike one to Devontae Smith. Ten yards, that catch was Smith's 32nd career touchdown reception. He now leads the SEC in career touchdown catches. Big day for Smith. Nine receptions, 144 yards, and two scores. Four minutes left in the second quarter. Najee Harris breaks off a 42-yard touchdown run. He had 13 carries for 83 yards and two touchdowns. That one was the longest career touchdown he's had at Alabama. Bama dominates by defeating Kentucky 63-3. That's the largest margin of victory for the Crimson Tide this season. Energy, uh, the intensity, uh, the attention to detail uh, early on in the game was, you know, not what we wanted it to be. Uh, but I think we played better and better and better as the game went on. Uh, we made some mental errors on defense early in the game and shifts and motions and uh, some things that we had worked on. But it was just a recognition, you know, deal. And uh, offensively, I think we played better and better as the game went on. So I uh, was really pleased with the way our players responded. Here's some Saban stats for you. He's now tied in the SEC for second with career SEC wins with 206 with Steve Spurrier. Of course, Bear Bryant leads that category. Alabama has 30 straight wins versus the SEC East opponents and 96 straight wins versus unranked teams. In Auburn today, the Tigers hosted Tennessee late first quarter. Tigers down seven, but driving, and Bo Nix looks to the end zone, picked off by Bryce Thompson, who wisely takes a knee. But it didn't take long to bounce back. Early second quarter, Nix to the ever-so-speedy Anthony Schwartz. 54 yards, nobody in his area code. Touchdown, Tigers. That cuts the Tennessee lead to 10-7. to seven. A pair of field goals from Anders Carlson. Gave Auburn the lead. And then the play of the day right here. Jared Garantano from the Auburn 12 goes to the end zone and he's picked off by Smoke Monday. And you can make all types of jokes about Auburn going 100 yards from end zone to end zone, but that was the play of the game. The Tigers win this one 30 to 17 to improve to 5 and 2 on the year. LSU at Arkansas in the first quarter. The Tigers up 3-0. to zero. Felipe Franks finds a wide-open Traylon Burks who takes off 65 yards. Touchdown, 7-3. to Arkansas dives into the end zone right there. Second quarter now, Felipe Franks looking over the middle. Picked off. That's Jabril Cox. He's going to go down the far sideline, 36 yards. Gets out at the 1. But Tyree and Davis Price would finish the job 17-7 LSU. We go to the fourth quarter now. Down four, T.J. Finley hits Jeray Jenkins in the end zone. Plenty of time in the pocket, lets it go, and there's Jenkins for the touchdown. The go-ahead touchdown, and LSU wins that one 27-24. The Tigers are now 3-3 three three on the year. Arkansas is 3-5. 0-6 oh, Vandy hosting number 6 Florida today. This one went just about as expected, although Vandy put a decent number of points on the board. One of the Commodore touchdowns here is Ken Seals connects with Chris Pierce Jr. That's a 16-yard score, but Kyle Trask was brilliant today. There's one of his three touchdown passes. Trask was 26 for 35 for 383 yards. Florida had 586 yards of offense. Final score, Gators win it 38-17 to, to improve to 6-1 on the year. Around the SEC, Georgia beat Mississippi State. Today that game was in Athens. And Missouri defeats South Carolina in Columbia 17-10. Nationally, a top 10 matchup between number nine, Indiana, and number three, Ohio State. This one with big implications. Second quarter, Master Teague takes the handoff, breaks to his left, 41 yards for the score, 14 to seven, Ohio State. Third quarter, Mike Penix Jr. is going to be picked off by Sean Wade. He goes 36 yards the other way. We'll be seeing you. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Ohio State wins it 42-35 and improves to 4-0 on the season. 
College game day is coming to Tuscaloosa next week for the Iron Bowl. I'll have more on that for you tomorrow night. That's it for sports this evening. I'm William Galloway. Stay with us. We'll be right back after this.